What is going on guys? It's Suspect here bringing you guys another YouTube video. The gameplay you guys are going to be seeing is just um, intensity, just in the background, you know, casual, whatever. I don't have any gameplay saved up and I didn't want to go get any for whatever reason. But today I wanted to kind of make a video. I was trying to avoid making this video only because everyone's making a video on it. And you know, there's just so much going on around this. I'm still a young YouTuber, so it doesn't affect me so much as other YouTubers that, in a sense, grow off Call of Duty, that their channels are based off Call of Duty. And because of this whole downpour that's going with Infinite Warfare, it almost seems as if, you know, all these COD channels are in a danger zone, in a danger zone, if you will. And I'm still a young YouTuber. I can change up my content whenever I'd like. But that's not my problem. My problem is, is that I love Call of Duty. I love competitive Call of Duty. It's always been fun for me, except Advanced Warfare. And it's an enjoyable game. I really like the game. And to see it, you know, when I heard that Infinite Warfare was announced, you know, I thought several things, you know. And this is, of course, my own opinion. You guys are free to speak your own opinion in the comments below. Or you can just hit me up on Twitter or whatever. But... What I'm going to try and say here, and hear me out before you judge. Why I think the Call of Duty 4 remake might hurt the franchise. Why Infinite Warfare might not be a bad game. And let's just be honest, man. Battlefield 1 looks like the shit. Like, I think we can all agree that the reveal trailer to Battlefield 1 looks so much better in terms of graphics, in terms of presentation, and just the all-around hype that it builds around Battlefield 1 compared to Call, uh, COD Infinite Warfare. It's just, there's no comparison there. And like, I'll leave both videos in, in the description below in case in case you have not seen both but i'm pretty sure everyone has but that's just for the people who live under rock that's all you guys so what i first wanted to get into okay why is call of duty infinite warfare not gonna be a bad game i feel as if the game is not gonna be bad all the people that you guys have been hearing some youtubers the you uh some viewers think like you know they cater towards activision or for whatever reason, they just say good things about Call of Duty so they can continue getting benefits from them and all that stuff. And it's almost as if people are disregarding their opinions. I won't name any YouTubers, but you guys already know. But, you know, I'm a small YouTuber, so maybe my opinion will be like, okay, a little bit more, you know, it'll mean something. Maybe, but I'm a young YouTuber. Not a lot of people watch me. But the reason I feel that Infinite Warfare might actually be a good game is for one, it's Infinity Ward. You're gonna be like, Seth, what does that even mean? That is the developer of Call of Duty Ghosts. What was Call of Duty Ghosts? Horseshit. <laughs> it was bad. There is no way to put it. The game was bad, okay? But in the position that Infinity Ward was in, it's not their fault that it was a bad game. The reason it was bad was not only did they have two years to develop it, right? It was the first Call of Duty game that's gonna be that was gonna be coming out for the Xbox One and the PS4. They got the game codings for you know, to create the game on that platform in a, at a late date, the game was rushed. They had to develop the game for previous gen consoles as well. And there was just little to no time to make this game. So it was rushed and everything. And the dev support for Ghosts was good. You know, they added micro DLC. They tried to get creative with the game and everything. And it wasn't bad. And the game did not look bad either. The graphics were really good. And like I said, the graphics are, weren't that bad either. They, it, they, it was good. The true problem that was wrong with the game was there was some balancing issues in terms of like some well for one the score streaks uh, or his kill streaks were pretty bad to be honest with you some of the things were unbalanced in terms of guns or score streaks whatever like riley would chase your ass across the map and kill you i've been through that a lot and it's annoying but i think the biggest thing that hurt ghosts was that you died too quickly and heavy duty was a gameplay or a playlist that was available for you so that you can get more health added to you they didn't keep the playlist for long and that's when i enjoyed the game the most and that's why i felt like ghosts was you know a bad game but it wasn't infinity ward's fault by any means so with that being said do you really think with a three-year development cycle with you know the fact that how, how can I put this with the fact that they already know that ghost was not the best call of duty made 
they're going to use all the feedback they got. They're going to use all the creativity they have to try and make a new game. And people are getting mad. At, and I'm not defending Infinity Ward. This is just my opinion. But a lot of people are getting mad at Infinity Ward for making a futuristic game. When another thing that people don't understand is that this game has been in development right before Infin or Advanced Warfare was released. So at this time, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and of course Infinite Warfare were going to be the games that are futuristic. And it is very, very much possible that Advanced Warfare 2, if that's the name of the game, will be in the same boat. Because these are now three year development cycles. So if you count, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and then the remaining of Black Ops 3 will be, or the year of 2016, the year we're in now, will be... Uh, Infinite Warfare. Advanced Warfare, okay. Now you're gonna have Black Ops 3, you're gonna have Infinite Warfare, and probably the remainder of 2017 will be that another futuristic game. It's just a development cycle that the devs are in, and you can't blame them for it, you know? They get the feedback late. They start and they have a really good start into the game. They're really in depth into it. And you just can't stop it at that point. You can't just erase what you have, like a year's worth of progress and just keep going with two years. With the way that Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 work, Call of Duty has to be kept at that three year development cycle. There's no way they can del just delete that, um, delete all the work that they've had if that's if that's the case that's why i feel like infinite warfare is going to be possibly a good game they're not going to let it go down as you know they're not going to let it go down as bad as ghosts did and seeing the feedback they also got from advanced warfare i doubt they're going to do that and of course the negativity from black ops 3 for whatever negativity there is they're going to use that again to develop a better call of duty now the fact that it's futuristic that's just on people and their preference and i get it you want to go back into the you want to go back into the past like it's understandable but it won't be a bad game and people are just hopping on this hate boat and I'm just here sitting on the sidelines not wanting to make it this video thinking it's not going to be a bad game. Now, a reason I feel that the Call of Duty 4 remake might be bad to the franchise, uh, I'll explain my reasoning. I will start off with saying that I am very, very excited for the, cre the recreation of Call of Duty 4. I loved COD 4. I have a ton of friends that only played Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. And it was a very fun experience. And I can't wait to play the game on my PS4. It's going to be amazing. The only thing with that is, what expectation is that going to leave for the other developers? If, like... <laughs> Sledgehammer Games has no other game to recreate, okay? They can't remaster the game. And even if they want to recreate Modern Warfare 3, which they only pertain to the campaign, how the hell are you going to skip Modern Warfare 2, which is arguably much better than Modern Warfare 3 to, to some people? You can't just do that, okay? So let's just say that Sledgehammer can't recreate a game, all right? So now Infinity Ward releases Infinite Warfare, and they released the COD 4 remake. Sledgehammer can't release anything. They're just going to make uh, Advanced Warfare 2. Let's just call it that. And then when Treyarch comes to develop their next game, are they now expected to make World at War? And is this just going to... And then this will be a win-win situation for... How can I put it? For the, for the marketing, I guess you can say. The developers or the studios will continue winning if this is the case but will this mean that w there's going to be a release of futuristic games and then a release of how can you call it of past call of duties remastered call of duties i mean paying for more like we're going to be paying 80 dollars to get infinite warfare and cod 4 i don't mind paying more money to get another a, a game that i love but eventually a the remakes are going to run out. Like, let's be honest with you. And B, where is the innovation going to stand? Like, you're just going to be recreating old Call of Duties and me being a competitive player and like, and I love to watch competitive Call of Duty. So even if I stop to play, I will continue watching competitive Call of Duty as long as it's entertaining to watch. But with no innovation or, you know, let's assume because they're focusing on recreating old Call of Duties and lacking on innovation for competitive Call of Duty, what's going to be the interest to continue watching or playing better yet competitive Call of Duty? At that point, you'll see a downfall from that point. The Then of course, the expectations from the devs are gonna be way too high 
and it just it won't it's i really feel like that'll hurt the business in terms of creativity i might be wrong because it'll just be a uh, it could be and it might be just like you know refreshing the code or putting the code up to date that's fine but i just feel like even then the expectation for other developers or for other studios will be the same way and now my final thoughts on the battlefield one trailer compared to the advanced warfare trailer okay there is this is day and night this is black and white you know what i mean like battlefield one not only catered to the audience that wanted to go back in time to world war one okay that's the biggest step if anything in their development of the game compared to infinite warfare that's going on in the trailer but for one the trailer just looks so much more crisp it looks better there's more hype built around the battlefield one trailer compared to the infinite warfare trailer like i said there's just no comparison and the like to dislike ratio in comparison to both videos battlefield there's no comparison like battlefield one just just whooped or i'll say like this it raped Inf infinite warfare and if infinite warfare wants to try and make a comeback into this race they definitely definitely have to make the game or the trailer look as good as battlefield one but with that in mind battlefield or dice has always been known to develop better looking games than call of duty look at battlefield 3 compared to modern warfare 3 look at battlefield 4 compared to ghost hardline to advanced warfare now look at battlefield 1 to infinite warfare this pattern is going to continue going because dice usually has better looking games or games look better on pc and of course battlefield has always been super popular from my knowledge i might be wrong on the pc okay so then with that being said call of duty is not even a big pc game because it's overrun by dota by league of legends by counter-strike and everything but that doesn't mean Battlefield's not a played game and Call of Duty's not a played game either. It's just that Call of Duty's more of a console game, which is why it's kind of like the shooter that's made fun of, I guess you can say, in the in the in the gaming community. And Battlefield just overall looks good, you know? There's like no cap to how good you can make Battlefield look on PC. And even then on console, it looks much better than Call of Duty. Those are my opinions, guys. You guys can leave. Oops. Those are my opinions, guys. You guys can leave your own opinions in the comment section below. But that's pretty much just me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you guys listened out to what I had to say. Hopefully, I don't get any hate for this because this is just my opinion. And I'm not defending Infinity Ward here. I'm just stating my own opinion. And, you know, as a Call of Duty YouTuber, because I do enjoy Call of Duty, it doesn't affect me in terms of my income or where I stand or nothing because I don't have a million subscribers or nothing. I can easily change my content. But I love Call of Duty. I love making Call of Duty content. And I love playing competitive Call of Duty. So that affects me where it hurts. You know, it, it affects me uh, to what I love in my, in my heart, as cheesy as that sounds, you know, because competitive Call of Duty has been something I really enjoyed and it's helped me out there so much. And just to see that so many people are hating on it and the development of you know a remastered call of duty might hurt it and the fact that battlefield one just raped call of duty just i don't know where it'll stand but you guys can say your opinions and i'm out